So when Mr. Uh, Trump said um, we can't uh, allow these Muslims refugees into America. Now, a lot of people were upset with him, but I know, um, sir, that the hatred for America in the Muslim world is building, as we told Mr. Bush, no Muslim leader could call for jihad and have it stick. No Muslim leader had the power to unite the whole Muslim world. I said, but America's policies will unite those people against the West, and it is happening. So in this way, Mr. Trump, I think, is wise to vet anyone coming from that area into America because the hatred for America is in the streets now. So if those people are refugees and America feels I got to let 10,000 of them in because America created the problem. Now, if you let them in and you don't vet them carefully, you might be letting in your own destruction. We are a lazy country, and I'm telling you, most of you folks, you need to get off your butts, get off your computers, get off your Facebooks, and start doing something. What's wrong with you? You're losing your damn country. Wake up. Would you wake up? What do I have to do to wake you up? You're in trouble. These refugees are coming. You've got a president that said over 200,000 Syrian refugees, many of them are going to be terrorists. They are coming to your town. They're coming here in California. As a matter of fact, right here in California, our governor has already said every single one of them, they're welcome right here in California. So if you want to rally about something, we need to rally about that. We need to stop this because that's going to destroy our okay, nation. So hold on.